Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and this is another shortwave for beginners uh, video and we're going to talk about why do stations change their frequencies? Well, listening to shortwave is not like listening to AM FM radio broadcasts. You know, on your regular AM FM broadcasts, you just tune your favorite station and it's always there. It's always on that frequency year-round, 24 hours a day. And a lot of people don't um, understand why shortwave can be the same. Why is it that, you know, I can't tune this frequency in every day around the year, it's always there. It has to do with changes in propagation, first of all. So depending on what time of the year we are, the season, uh, the sun's um, height in the sky, depending on the length of the days, all of that changes the properties of propagation in the ionosphere, which means you got to adapt your frequencies to make sure you are received at your target audience. So typically, schedules are divided into two categories, A and B schedules for a year. Right now, if you look here, it says BCA20. BCA20 means broadcast a20 because it's the first schedules of the year 2020 when will that change in october so typically schedules change in march at the end of march at the end of october at the end of october we will have what's called b20 until of course next year we get back into march where we'll be at a21 for the year 2021 and so on but there's also other reasons why frequencies might change Notice here that there's an update on the date of uh, this website. 26th of May 2020 is the last time it was updated. So you might be thinking, well, why are there some updates on schedules uh, in between if the last updates were in March? That's because there are many things that could happen. First of all, a lot of stations are difficult to track their frequencies and sometimes um, you know there are mistakes in the schedule so that's one of the first reasons they will update the schedules but the other reason is because of interference or you know jamming or all sorts of things that you have not predicted that could happen to your signal uh, so stations sometimes choose frequencies and they find out that their audience doesn't hear it for a reason a particular reason of maybe another station being too close or interfering with it. There's jamming. Uh, there's rogue stations, I will call them, like Radio Havana Cuba, that chooses frequency randomly without consulting. That means sometimes they can actually be on the same frequency as another station. Sometimes it could be that the frequency they chose they thought was okay, but a lot of the um, uh, you know listeners will complain that another station is on the same frequency and um, you know they thought that station would not propagate to that area at that time but it does so all sorts of things make the schedules change all the time so apart from the fact that there are two major changes a year there's also minor changes within that schedule season so that's why you should use one of the websites with schedules and make sure that whatever uh, website you're choosing updates the schedules regularly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.